Now, if you're looking for one of the best, if not the best root mods for your Android device, which is running Android 13, then AOSP mods has to be that one mod. Now, here it is. I am running this on my Android 13 device. And let us start with double tap to sleep on my status bar is going to lock my device. Then, of course, I can wake up my device. But you see this custom message here on my lock screen. Dope, super dope. What else can I customize? Well, 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 I can customize these icon shortcuts, remove the circle, which is behind them. Then I have rotation at all angles. So for that, let us open our device and then we can go to the home screen. So this here is the home screen. I can rotate it like this and it is going to rotate. I can rotate it like this and I can also rotate it like this. So all of these mods are on deck. Then have a look at that clock. You see the custom text before and after the clock. Yes, this is also courtesy of AOSP mods. You see the battery bar. Yes, you see the customized battery icon with the colorful theme, the text inside it and a custom Wi-Fi icon. All of those courtesy of AOSP mods. You see my navigation bar here at the bottom. This is in the accent color of the theme. Awesome, awesome, awesome features on this mod. Also, if I'm on my lock screen, double tap and hold, I should be able to open the torch. So here it is, double tap and hold and the torch got activated. I did mess it over here. Let me give it one more try. Double tap, hold, bam, torch is active. As soon as I let go, the torch turns off. Awesome mods in this mod for your Android device. Now, other than that, what else do we get? Let us access our quick settings. You see these icons, customized, different theme. My brightness slider is at the bottom and it is visible when the quick setting icons are not expanded. Once I expand them, here it is. I have another custom text over here on the bottom left. This is where you get your build number if you have enabled developer options. That can also be customized, my dear friends. And I also have quick pull down. So if I swipe down from the right, they are expanded. And if I swipe down from the left, the tiles are not expanded. Now, other than that, I can also customize the number of rows and columns in my quick setting tiles. And it also has a customizable back gesture. What do I mean by that? So here it is. I open the settings app. I go back from here. Nothing is going to happen. I go back from here. The back gesture kicks in. All of this can be customized in this mod. So let us go through the menu items a little bit over here. So in your quick settings panel, of course, you have your apply the light theme which i showed you you also have vibrate on quick setting tile tap customize the number of rows and columns and a bunch of other options you have your quick pull down network monitor as well then if i go into navigation bar gesture navigation here it is you, you see these areas which are highlighted so this is my back gesture for the right side this is my back gesture height for the left side all of this can be customized then i should have a toggle for my accent colored gesture pill i can change the width and the height as well of my gesture bar so awesome 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 features in this mod there it is i always swipe up from here it doesn't work so i have to get used to swiping up from a bit below then if you want the taskbar you can do that as well so going to android taskbar force enabled and bam here it is i have the taskbar on my device right now and of course the ui will go a bit smaller because it has changed the dpi but nonetheless i have the taskbar so those of you who want to play around with the taskbar on your Android 13 device. Yes, this is a must have mod. And the other best part about this mod is that you do not have to rely on any custom ROM to add specific features. The mod in itself is a custom ROM. And of course, as the name signifies, this will only work on Android 13 and Android 12 based ROMs, which are based on AOSP. So your TouchWiz, Oxygen OS, MIUI, it's not going to work on those, but it has a bunch of features.
Now the next question you are going to ask me is hey Manchi, how do I get this awesome mod on my Android 13 device? Well, for starters, you do need to have exposed framework installed on your device. And how do you do that? Video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, go to this AOSP mods github page again all the links are in the description of the video and herein we will go into the download section once you tap on download we will be on the releases page at the time of recording the video this is the latest version so we are going to scroll down and herein we should have the assets section the file which you need to download in the assets section is the aosp mods full zip and then the next thing you need to do is open magisk go into modules as you can see i do have exposed framework installed i will select install from storage three bar menu on the top left select my device's name poco f1 then i will go into the download folder this is where all files are downloaded by default select this file aosp mods full wait for it to do its thing which is to install the module now once the module has installed successfully bam go ahead and reboot your device and of course while the device is booting if you ever get into a boot loop because of a magisk module we do have videos showing you how to fix a boot loop caused by a magisk module and those videos again are linked in the description of the video so once we boot it back we will open magisk go into modules make sure that the mod was installed and it is active next up if you open your application drawer you should have something called aosp mods and we can now open it and next up you're going to give it super user request allow it to send you notifications and that is it we are all set and we should be good to go let us try to add a battery bar over here then we can go back go into the battery bar settings and we can make it a bit colorful you can change the thickness etc if you want move it to the bottom and bam here it is battery bar in the building looking super dope in case it does not show up in the application drawer for you what are you going to do then well open your exposed framework and herein you can go into the modules section and as you can see aosp mods got enabled by itself in case it is not enabled go over here enable it and here are the options which you need to check so you need to check system framework phone services pixel launcher and system ui those are the options you need to check and then reboot your device and you should be good to go